The Disney's Jungle Book will always be my favorite one, and since I was a kid. Well, be better than the remake, which is still pretty good, but the original one will always be my favorite one. Here's the back of the cover. I'm just waiting for the game available to start in a moment. The back of the cover looks pretty good. Let me just wind it up. There's also an ultimate ending, which I watched like not too long ago already. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this thing started. Just wait for like a couple of seconds. This is gonna be a pretty longer video for me to do this. <clears throat> I mean, these strange legends are told in part in the jungle of India, but none so strange as a story of a small boy named Mowgli. It all began silent to the jungle. It was broken by an unfamiliar sound. It was sound like Bagheera had never heard before in part of the jungle. It was a man cub, he explained. You know what they say. Raised by a family of wolves, no man cub has never been happier. And yet, Bagheera knew that someday, well, we would have to go back to his own kind. Shere Khan, a tiger, had returned hard in jungle and would come for the boy. Had Bagheera known how dangerous the, this adventure was going to be, he would have made his first turn and then walk away. <coughs> okay. This is the Super Nintendo of it. I do remember playing this as a kid when I was younger. It is really, really hard compared to Sega Genesis. The Genesis is super easy. This one, not so easy. Can you believe that the Jungle Book's already like nearly 50 years old now? Well, 53. Yeah. And yet they have a game based off it. Waiting like every, every 30 and a half years. But this one came out in 1994. Or 93. Yeah. And check in Wikipedia on that one. I do like the pixelated animation on Mowgli and the other animals. Are basically from the film. Unlike the film, you collect gems to end up in the bonus stage and get enough extra limes and extra fruit weapons and besides bananas. Unlike the Genesis, you get like four hearts that counts as your meter of helpful life. If Mowgli hits, gets hit four times, game's over. Ver of losing all your lives. Those of you who ever played this game before, it's perfect for your childhood. Just gotta take care of these other foes while throwing bananas at them. It would take any player to play this for like nearly two hours. This one will not take too long. I'll probably cut this one shortly for like nearly almost an hour and stupid ant hill or termite things. I have no idea what those are. As a kid, I they prefer, or I thought they were ants that would crawl around Mowgli and almost eat, eat his flesh, which is pretty messed up. But shouldn't that chew down? It looked like a weird insect. 
Speaking of the enemies, you got like monkeys, bats. Um, trying to think of what else. Snakes. Dangerous traps. Like those prickly pears that are right there. Most of them are like in background or in front of the foregrounds. There'll be birds. It's most likely the enemies of the ones from the film, like Caught the Snake. King Willy, that'll become the main boss, not once, but twice. I'll give this game credit, and the backgrounds look perfectly well done. The fact that this game is like 20 years older. I just wish I would go to India, or Savannah, to visit the animals, but... A taken flight tour there costs a lot of money. Unfortunately, I don't have enough money to travel there, but watching it is very entertaining on how well this game is probably well made. It. Finding the hearts can be almost hard to find at times. Ends up locally, but almost lose all of them. Baloo is in this game, but he's nearly there at the end of the level. Unlike the Genesis, you want to collect enough, like, 10 gems and reach your goal to the end while Bagheera is usually asleep. Sure, Baloo will show up in most at the end of the levels, but... Some of them will make you just get to the end of the level that says the word exit. They got the music from the film, right? Oh yeah, extra continues. It's been a while since I've played this game. There's like other ex interesting things about this game. Besides, um, well, more interesting in fruit, it has weapons. The funeral bear necessities of Mother Nature's recipes uh, bring the bare necessities of life. Wherever I wonder, wherever I roam. Oh yeah, there's that. Power up that'll make you invisible for like a couple of seconds. So, unlike the Sega Genesis, you do pick up different fruits, but you won't get them until later on in this game. The Genesis one is way shorter, is stupid plant. And you throw like coconuts, rocks. Ring weapons and dead. Let's try that again. I really, really like this game. As a kid, I kind of despise it because it was really difficult. I mean, before I got YouTube, I did record on a VHS tape on how much. It really, really, uh, excuse my language, pissed me off on how difficult it got. <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, something in my throat of the soda. Okay, they used the voices from the film too. I love it when he yells, It's Baloo the Bear! I almost forgot to mention, there will be like fun leads, because why not, and even Hathi Jr. that will give you checkpoints. It's also on a Genesis, but more pixelatedly well animated. You'll also ride those giant 
and parakeets. I'll offer you a ride. And reach into hot, harder to reach places. And believe it or not, it is kind of, like in a word for it, harder to do as it is without reaching to most levels being simply easy or simply harder. It just shows how the game can be progressively to medium or even harder. Stupid monkey. Stupid insects. Take that. And dumb chimpanzee. And yeah, I know what he is. I like the springy monkey. <coughs> Snakes. Wee wee. <laughs> This is actually pretty fun. Alright, grab the vine. And there's a... Aardvark or Anteater. Oh yeah, they count as enemies too. I'm pretty sure there's like frogs in this game. Or I'm just thinking about the Genesis game again. Because believe it or not, there were a lot of enemies on there. Or like scorpions. Yeah, I don't believe it either, but there's actually scorpions in the game too. And I had to keep on repeating it, but yeah, the game had a lot of enemies on the Sega Genesis one. This one only has like a few of them, which makes the game a little bit easy, I guess, but still it's gets really difficult when you enter in King Louie's temple later on. They do use some of the music from the film. When I say some, I do mean like quite a few of them. Also, every time Mowgli yells out, Ow, I can probably tell it's a different voice actor, because the actor that played Mowgli is... name is Bruce. Let's see what the mega cover says on this DVD Blu-ray. It does not say it. I do know it's like the grandson of Walt Disney before he passed away, to be his final film. Um, from 1996 toward 1967. Anyhow. Oh, you had to move, like, a few rocks in the way, too, to jump to higher places that are not easy to well, Catch the side. Oh, what else? Oh yeah, extra lights are not easy to find in this game either because they don't hand them out to you like candy. Because you don't get those until later on. Trust me. It, it's not as easy as it seems to be. That's why that this game came out so long ago on how, in a word for it, unbelievably unforgiving this game can be. Also, I love that sprite of animation when Mowgli jump falls up to a higher place and show his under wear or lion cloth, they call it. Use it as a parachute. Which they also use on, like, I keep on repeating, the Sega Genesis. I know I keep saying it, but there's just not much else to talk about because this game is really, well, really animatedly perfect. Sure, I like this game. This is pretty much all you do for the past two hours of gameplay.
I should you not, this does take a long time to get to the, the very end of the level. Just collecting the amount of gems you collect, the more extra lines. And sometimes the blue will show up and give you invisibility to avoid these enemies' attacks that you can't dodge. I mean, if you're playing this game on practice mode, aka easy mode, you know, that's how far you're gonna get into the game when you fight caught a snake. So you have to play the game on medium or hard mode. I did play the game on hard mode because it makes the game go on even longer than it needs to be. Also, I love how he's put up his dukes. Against blue. Oh, just like in the film. I find it pretty cute. Alright, finally. Let's take on Call the Snake. Right there, we explore this huge tree. Now, in this part, you want to be careful not to get. Attacked by these baby birds. Birds and... Even a toucan bird. Or that'll attack you as well. Some of the enemies in this game will be unavailable to defeat. Besides the woodpecker. Or who's out for Mowgli's blood for some reason. Yep. Just shooting bananas at two canbar and they'll explode into piles of feathers. As a kid, I find that a bit frightening. What those of most people find it funny is pretty he screwed up in the head. I tell much I like the soundtrack in this one too. I don't know how they did the music so well. It just sounds like a bunch of fungal drums playing. While animals are making noise in the background too. Let's just get that and fire at that dumb monkey that's hurting Mowgli. Collect something that was in that tree stump. And down we go. Let's try that again. Hearing saying the word yeah, we probably got an extra life. Avoid that crazy woodpecker. Jump on that bouncy branch. Avoid the baby birds. Now I instantly hurt you. Alright, steady, steady, and missed. Got it! Ow! Darn baby birds. Alright. Ha! Missed. Alright. Get another checkpoint. Avoid that how that toucan bird that's throwing eggs at us, or throwing his own children at us. That's actually pretty messed up. Hey, look at that. There's friend Al from Bambi, which I should really review someday. Watch out for the bee. I'm pretty sure I remember you had the. Hit the owl and gives you a uh, extra heart. Hurt as much as possible. Thank you, friend owl. Kind of weird in the Genesis. This the owl was our enemy, but in this one, this is the only time you see this owl that will give you extra hearts. Hurts before you come in front of the boss and 
Get up there. Great. Once this is over with, I'm playing the next interesting game. That won't be all 16-bit. And from the 90s. Take that, you idiotic toucan bird throwing eggs at me. Your own kids. Which is still pretty wrong, but I'm gonna try to avoid these. Woodpecker there. Down I go. Just gonna go ahead and try not to get hurt. Once we get to the boss fight. <sighs> Anytime now. Nearly getting it to the top. Gotta take care of that dumb monkey. All right. Getting closer. Just gonna avoid that woodpecker. Now it's gonna try to pick our side. All right, we're invisible. All right, let's take on Khan now. I'm just gonna prefer to the other one one more time. Now Genesis, he does attack you, but he doesn't have this really well animated pixel mess to it. You have to avoid his hypnotic powers. The only way to do that is make sure he does it off the screen. Sometimes his hypnotic powers will be almost hard to avoid. Also, you have to be careful not to get closer to him or he'll bite you. And avoid his tail. He'll go to different sides. Right over there, and sometimes right where Ka's at. Take that, scaly freak. Eat co- Eat fruit. Yes! Down he goes. And perfectly well animated. Ain't defeat ever. <laughs> By the way, that's the only time you actually see Ka in this game. You don't encounter him for the second time. And just like in the movie. That's the only time you'll be seeing him in the first beginning of the game. Okay, there's Tree Village. And this is way different than, well, you know what. Uh, that's the way of all than the Super Nintendo. Okay, we avoid that hedgehog. Or porcupine. Watch out for the squirrel and avoid the snakes. That still counts as enemies. Be careful not to fall in the boneless pit, just like in every video game has it. Just gonna swing across there. I like how these things have faces too. Those things right there. Alright, thank you, Junior Hothy. Idiot, you stupid snake. Hey, watch it. Take that. Take that. Alright, how am I supposed to reach that? Oh yeah, I remember. You have to move... Some sort of giant egg or something.
Watch it, squirrel. Stop throwing your nuts at me. I mean, acorn nuts. Jeez, look at the size of this egg. And yet, once you hit it, it doesn't. Okay, so that's hatch into a springy snake. All right, there's an extra life. We really need that. Move out of the way. Yes, seven lives. The luckiest number of them all. Right down we go. The seesaw. Genius. Move that heavy square rock. Because I'm pretty sure in reality there's no square rock. Hey! Not cool, man. Quit it. You get out of here. Take that in your face. And we're at the end of the level. It says exit. Nice. Yeah, that's right, dance. Dance your way to victory, Mowgli. You deserve it. Parrot ride. Okay, I like how it's all pixelatedly hand-drawn there. You know we don't have ever seen that in the movie. Or none of these levels that have nothing to do with the film whatsoever. But that's video game logicness right there. It's like playing Tarzan in the random village. Which, but that wasn't any part of the film whatsoever. Stop it, snake. All right, going up. Now to ride this bird. Here we go. All right, let's see how much time are we in. Okay, we're not even a half hour into this thing, and it still feels like an eternity. And oh, you dumb monkey. Had one heart left, and now we got two, for some reason. Alright, I gotta admit, this bird is shooting a lot of bananas out of its mouth. I don't know how that's possible, and why the scream is really scrolly like this, but... Screw it. This is pretty much how most games are from the 90s. Which is also part of the King Movie stage, which I'm foreshadowing right now. Now that you have to do your best not to die. Finally made it to the end of it. Only good question is how I'm supposed to get the extra life? I don't know. Hey! Stupid hedgehog. All right, careful, careful. Easy, easy now. Just 
Try not to fall into the bottomless pit. And now we're ending a different bird, but it has the same color. I like the sound effect they put on with the bird chewing bananas. I go. It definitely sounds like somebody's mouth making that noise. Again, I have no idea how they did that sound effect to make the bird shoot out bananas, but it's slightly possible. This mode, like Green Mugly, uses different fruits that make random sounds. And that boingy sound. And when you're on the seesaw. Alright, gotta take care of that blasted snake that's in the way. Alright. Get out of my way, you legless caterpillar. Worm. Yes! I'm pretty sure there's like 10 levels in this game. Or am I thinking about the Genesis again? Pretty sure it's a Genesis one. Or a waterfall. Oh yeah, I remember this level. The chameleons can help you. With their strong tongues. And I go avoid the fishes and snakes too, because this is a jungle book and they love using snakes a lot. I really do like snakes and chameleons. What the heck? What just hit me? The bit of water just hit Mowgli. Oh, it's a piranha fish. Let's make that chomping sound. Yeah, yeah, you bear fall down. Ah, there's the problem. There's that fish that's shooting out water at us. Well, him. I'm playing as. Okay, I like how the chameleon changes his colors when you hit him with a banana. It's kind of weird that these red tiles can actually hold on to a kid's skinny ton weight. And I keep missing. Alright, let's try again. Alright, come on. Alright, come on. Oh, come on! Alright, please get up there. Yes! Okay, um... I might need the chameleon's help for this one. Oh, man. Alright, please. Don't mess this up. Oh, come on!
This is just taking too long getting up there. Found a hand in life, and this is taking far too long. Yes! Finally! Just gotta wait until these rocks start moving, and I did not see that vine up there. Let's see, what's over here? Oh yeah, the owl again. Okay, never mind then. But the owl doesn't show in too many of all these levels. Alright, come on. I can't tell what that thing is shooting. Sharp fruits? Spikes? Looks like one of those... Barbarian fruits, and down he goes. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. This is so fudging stupid. All right, come on. Oh, Eve. Am I ever gonna get to the top or what? This is just taking a bit far too long for me to reach. I have no idea what I'm doing, but it's working, and he did not grab it. Hey there, friend Al, I'm just checking on you still doing your thing. To go try to get up there. Gonna try to get up there. Alright, stop throwing those sharp fruits at me, whatever they are. Going up. Hey. Hey, that's not nice. Don't do that. You're not gonna listen to me since I murdered you. And I'm going back down and taking more hits. Well, might as well visit the owl again and get more hearts. Thank you. Thank you. That's right, keep getting me more. Let's go back over here. Take care of that snake that won't die. Because he's there for the rest of his life. Just shooting out whatever he has in his mouth at us. Instead of like other snakes do, just spit out point. He's in like the Genesis has. All right, nearly there. Please don't mess up. Feels like I've been in this level for like already 20 minutes, which feels like it. <sighs> Just grab it. There. Okay, I can't reach that. Really? I ain't gonna make this easy. Ouch. Alright, grab a few gems. Yes! I'm getting them. And the uh, random fruit that shoots out hearts. Boingy.
Izumi is the big huge waterfall really, really that tall. Well, to get to the very top. Oh, cool. The bananas actually bounce back on the springs. Oh, ow, 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 ow. That's so much pain. Stupid bat. I should be up to the top by now, but this is taking far, far too long. And I missed. Down I go. Jeez, Melise. All right, please grab it. Please grab it. Of uh, course. Sure, it's taking me a long time to get up to the very top and still keep missing and jump on that annoying fish. Got the gem. Just grab the vine. Okay, so you can go that way. Um. All right, let's figure this out. All right, I think we're getting closer. Getting closer. I can feel it in my wishbone and rats. Rats again. Rats! Yes! All right. Steady as it goes. Come on, I've been in this level far too long. I should be at the end by now. Should be there. Avoid that fish that's shooting out water at us. And missed. Glad you're enjoying this, everyone. On how bloody long this is taking, dumb bat. Uh huh, thank you for the checkpoint. And just reach up there. Avoid these crazy monkeys that are in the way. Yeah, quite a few things here and there. I should be at the top by now, but I sure am taking my sweet time with this. Am I there yet? Uh, 
This is sure is taking a longer time. And I still keep messing. Please get up there. Oh my god, I can't believe how long this is taking me. This would have been faster if it was closer already. I just can't believe this is taking so long to get to the top. Yeah. I am totally stunned by this right now, on how... ...watching gaming gene this is. Make me lose my patience already. Right, I got whatever that is that looks like Bagheera. And missed. This is so long. I like the music, but I really want to end this level so badly. Any time now. Should be there in a moment. Oh, I just saw X alive there. Argon tried to go upwards. Stupid bat. Take that, that snake. Avoid a monkey that's gonna try to hit me. Got one last heart left. Time now, I should be up there. This is taking really the longest time. Okay, I think I'm nearly there, but. I want to avoid all these monkeys, snakes, and everything that are in the way. Okay, if I miss one more time... Easy. Take that dumb monkey. Well, about time. My glob, that took forever. Just give me a second. <laughs> We're finally at King Louis Temple. Oh, thank God. 
That waterfall stage took far too long. Just gonna avoid those deadly traps that want me dead. And once the skulls. I like the music. It, it does have character to film, and I don't end up seeing those things shooting fire at you. Or these falling down on you, those piece of cement at walls. Once we get to King Lily, he ain't gonna be the most easiest one of them all. Believe me, I know. Because I've played this game before. Trying to be without dying is impossible. And to wait patiently for being ahead. Avoid the skull that wants you dead. That shooting an arrow dots at you. For sure, the Genesis, they should have, like, poison dots at you, which is pretty messed up. Just gonna go ahead and swing across. <laughs> Gotta get rid of these monkeys that are in the way. Once I defeat King Lily, I'm just gonna end it here because this thing's been going on for like almost an hour. There he is.